Okay. When sending letters for marketing purposes, you know, whether it's wholesaling or looking for creative finance deals, uh, do you think it's better to, uh, for it to be more personal or, or more professional? By, uh, for example, a handwritten letter as opposed to one on a legal uh, or business letterhead. Well, I'll tell you, for years and years when I got started marketing, I used a very professional letter. You know, that was the common practice at the time. You want to you know, look like a business, you buy houses, you want to look professional, people like that sort of thing. Uh, but I'll tell you, most of my students, and we don't do a lot of direct mail anymore, very little, in fact. Uh, but I have a lot of students who do, and they seem to have a better result with something more personal. The handwritten letter uh, or even a letter that's got a watermark looking sort of background with uh, their kids on it or the American flag or, or something like that uh, seems to have a better result. It's just it looks more personal. Uh, and it's probably a lot different than what most people do. Now, the handwritten letter is kind of a normal thing for investors now. Uh, but that added personal touch with, you know, that mentions, hey, this is a picture of my kid. Uh, this is us doing something, you know, one day or, or some kind of little story like that seems to, to be better. But honestly, I'll tell you, in my experience, sending the piece is what's important. I don't think there are a lot of people out there that are going to go, I'm not going to call this guy. He looks like a business or I'm going to call her because I think, you know, this is more personal. I don't, if you're talking to the right sellers and these are people that have an issue and, and they need to sell their house. I don't think they're going to give a lot of weight to that one way or the other. So I think you're really kind of overthinking that. I think you just need to send the piece and see what happens. If they really need to sell their house and, and you're just polite and you offer them a solution to their problem, they're probably going to give you a call. So that's my advice. Just mail the letter and don't worry too much about it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. While you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out these other great videos and podcast episodes.